I didn't graduate university, and well for many years it used to bother me. If something bothers us then it means that it upsets us, but you know these days I couldn't give a rat's ass. If we say that we don't give or couldn't give a rat's ass, <laughs> this is a rather impolite uh, expression that means that we just don't care about something, so be careful using that one. I'm still studying a full-time degree at the University of Life, and I haven't graduated just yet. I'm, uh, well, about a third of the way through <laughs> the University of Life. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a university degree, but I don't care. I've had a pretty colourful life so far, I think, without a degree. If we say that something is colourful, then it means interesting or exciting. And I believe my life has been colourful. Well, it's half past six. The sun was out ten minutes ago, but it's gone back in now. And I thought I'd get out here and make today's vlog nice and early, because my schedule today is absolutely rammed. Um, we can say rammed, which means rammed full, or ram-packed, or jam-packed. Thursdays are so busy, but you guys know that if you've been watching. So, I don't have a great deal of time today to to do uh, to make today's vlog um, a great deal of this is a nice uh, way to quantify something so in this case I don't have a great deal of time so today I thought I'd just witter on a little bit um, and tell you something about myself tell you a little about my life really because as we're getting to know each other you know a lot about me but you don't know anything about my life really so today I'm going to witter on to witter is a verb it means to talk and talk and talk and talk followed by the preposition on to witter on so I don't have a university degree, like I said, but it hasn't held me back. If something holds us back, then it means that it stops us or prevents us doing something. So I've traveled around and I've lived in a few different places. I've managed to find an incredible wife, I've got two amazing children, and I don't think it's held me back at all. But for some people, university education and qualifying university with a degree is the be all and end all of their life. And that's fine. If we say that something is the be-all and end-all of something, then it means that it's very important. And I understand why most people have the desire to go to university and get a degree. I also had that desire at one point, until I got a taste for travelling. If we get a taste for something, then it means that, well, exactly. Why am I kissing? It's early in the morning. <laughs> if we taste something, we want more of it if it's good. I got a taste for travelling when I was at school and from that point onwards, university just felt like a big distraction in my life. All I really wanted to do was travel. Um, so yeah, basically, after school, I had a few part-time jobs here and there, here and there, all over the place. But nothing, you know, permanent really that stuck for quite a long time. I got sacked, that's what happens, verb, we get sacked if the employer tells us they don't want us anymore. I got sacked from quite a few jobs, um, but it was all a big learning curve, a learning curve, you know? Um, everybody has curves in their life where they learn, and that's what it was. It was a learning curve between the age of 18 and 19. I had maybe five or six different jobs. But then I settled on a job which I did enjoy, kind of. It was an interesting job, and for many years I worked as a croupier. I worked as a croupier in the nearest town to me, which is a place called Hull. It's not a very interesting town, there's not very much happening, it's quite small. There's not much of a social scene, as a noun, a social scene means things that are happening around us which are social fun. So yes, I was a croupier, and that doesn't sound like an English word because it's not. It's a French word in the English language. A croupier is a noun, that's a posh way of saying a dealer. Not a drug dealer, I know what you're thinking. A casino dealer. So yeah, that's right, I used to work in the casino, dealing casino games. <laughs> Place your bets, please. Spin the ball. No more bets, thank you. <laughs> no more bets. The ball will drop, the dealer will look to see the winning number, and place the dolly on the winning number. <laughs> that was me for many years, and it was colourful. It was a very colourful job. Maybe one day I'll tell you more about my experience working in a casino, but all I'll tell you right now is it's a bloody tough job. Tough meaning difficult. <sighs> Just thinking about it is exhausting. But it was character building. It built my character and it taught me how to be strong and tough and how to work hard and how not to listen to criticism. So for that, I'm grateful. And that's all for today's job. Job? Vlog. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a job, I promise you. It's fun. But that's all for today. I've got to get to work. Busy day. 
and some days my vlogs will be like this because I don't leave the house and there's nothing interesting to talk about when I'm teaching nine classes. You know, what can I tell you? So there we go. At some point in the future I'll do another vlog like this and I'll tell you what happened next in my life after I became a crew PA. So why don't you tell me about your first jobs? Tell me what you did. Tell me if it helped you in life. Tell me about your university education. Be honest, if you don't have a degree, tell me, let me know. Don't leave me hanging here all alone. All right, have a cracking day. Great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.